today is Junior Ranger Day for the kiddos. So we are heading from picking up donuts. We left the Spruce Lake RV Resort. We grabbed some donuts at the little donut shop. It was 10 o'clock, they were almost sold out of course because it's uh, not, that's late for donuts. Yes. And then we're heading back up to the Rocky Mountain National Park. We're gonna stop at the visitor center to get a stamp in your book and find a place with picnic tables to get out and eat the donuts that we've got and then go to the Junior Ranger program at the Junior Ranger headquarters. <laughs> that's all we know right now. Did somebody say there's donuts on the picnic table? Who wants chocolate? Who wants maple? Who wants glaze? 11 o'clock on Saturday, July the 6th. And here is what the traffic to the main entrance of Rocky Mountain National Park out of Estes Park. Is. Cars were lined up about a half a mile, but it really only took about five minutes to get up here. And if you have the National Park Pass, okay. America Beautiful Pass, you just stay to the right as you go through the automated gate. Far right lane, not too fast all the way through. Thank you. Look, that grin, it helps us fall in between. There's another plus of an annual pass. So you guys excited about the Junior Ranger program? Yes. What are you hoping to learn or find out? Uh, more about the land and animals. How about you, Jack? Um, I don't really know. You know anything? Animals. Animals. All right, let's go oh, find yeah, out. They do not. Do we buy those? Nope. Oh. At this park, at this park, for now, they're complimentary because our nonprofit that runs our little gift shops and our visitor centers raises enough money to pay for everything on our junior ranger program. Awesome. All I need to know is how old are you? I'm six and a half. Eight. Eight. Eleven. Okay, right here are your books. Have you ever done it before? No. Nope. All right. If you need a small writing device, we've got some small pencils right here. If you look on the back page of those booklets, at the lines down there at the bottom, the long one, put your first name there. That way, a sneaky little ranger like me can't put my name there and then take credit for all the hard work that you do. So you do that. Okay. Yep, that's the one. All you gotta do is put your first name on here. And the rest of it is, I think in a nine up book they say if you're a certain age you gotta do so many activities. But you're talking to Ranger Jack, and if you can do the whole booklet, do the whole booklet. Because most of those activities are pretty easy. Okay. Some of them you might find difficult, and a good ranger knows when to ask for help and to learn how to work with others. Bigger jobs, bigger tasks can be accomplished quicker when more people learn how to work together and come up with a quicker, better solution. Okay. But first, try it on your own first, and then there's different places in there to see wild animals and so on. Only check off the stuff that you get to see and experience. And that way, it's kind of like your own personal journal for this visit. Uh, otherwise, the hardest thing for most junior rangers to complete is to attend a ranger-led program. And if you like going to ranger-led programs, we've got a whole section in here that tells you where and what day of the week and stuff that the ranger programs are on. Did you get a copy of this? Uh, I don't think we do. Starts on this page here and it says Ranger Led Programs. And I usually tell people to navigate it. What day of the week is it? Saturday. So I just scroll down here to see what programs are today and what times. Okay. And see if there's still something later in the evenings and so forth. Okay. okay. But it's full of all kinds of wonderful information. Did you get a park brochure? Man? We did. Okay. Thank you. All right. What's the Ranger's name? Ranger Jack. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm Ranger Jack. And today's program. Question first. First question is this: Have any of you seen?
seen a ranger since you've been in the park today? Many of you have to do chores. Honoring thing in the room, yes. Dishes. Do you guys know what the difference is between a chore and work? One you do for free because you live there. The other one, somebody has you do a job and they pay you money for it. Okay? Your job is. But all the jobs get looped under this big word they call stewardship. Okay? That's taking care of whatever resource or place where the ranger works. It could be a building, it could be a natural park like this one. So we're here to make rules to make sure that the animals and the plants are protected, not hurt or destroyed. And so are all the visitors, so that nobody gets into trouble out here, okay? And that's why we have some of the rules that we do. So we protect people, we protect animals, and we protect plants, okay? Okay, with that, everybody stand up. We are going to divide into three groups, okay? And I have my assistant rangers here. <laughs> and you guys Now, parents, I will lock the door, so if you want to leave anything in here, we're all going to be out uh, about 10 or 15 minutes, we're just going to be outside. Just going to stand, stand right here for now. Anybody at the mic, we're just kind of over here. Okay. Follow me. Equipment, start pulling it out of there. You got a mystery to solve. What does this ranger do? And it's okay. Lay the stuff out around on the ground. You want to put the helmet on? You want to put the shirt on? Yeah, just start pulling it all out there so you can see what you have there, okay? When you think you know what this ranger does, raise your hand and let me know. Search and Rescue Ranger. This is some of the, this is a lot of the equipment that they have to take with them, depending because every response, they never know where the hurt visitor or owner might be found. So they gotta be prepared to go on any kind of terrain. Alright? And if somebody, yeah, somebody put on the helmet. Who wants to wear the helmet? Do you want to put that on? Oh, well, we got two helmets. So yeah, put on the helmet. Put on one of the uniform shirts. Because what we had to figure out now, by using by using this stuff, by using this stuff, we have to come up with a skit to show those other two groups what this ranger does as a job. And we got to do it without using words. Now, don't undo the rope. Kind of keep it all coiled together. Why would these guys need a rope? or go up mountains. Yeah. So probably more than one of them would carry a rope. You might have to use it to save me. I'm not saving. I'm saving. You don't know. You don't know. They might not be able to find me. I might be really lost. Right. Like the police rangers? To protect people from wildlife. What were these people doing they, that was wrong? They kept getting closer and closer to the They are firefighting rangers, yes. Hours and hours go by. <laughs> People start to worry. Why didn't they come back to the car and somebody finally makes a phone call saying, hey, we have a long name. So go ahead. Get up, walk over there, you find it.
Okay. A nice round of applause. Excellent. <laughs> As quick and ranger out there, so I usually carry a few junior ranger badges with me wherever I go in my little backpack. But if you're ready today, stay here. But if you're not, we'll sign your books and then go on out there, find those wild animals, take care of the plants and trees that we have out there. Enjoy the great outdoors because that's what this park is all about. Excellent job, guys. Very good search and rescue rangers. So you've got a good start. picnic lunch after the Junior Ranger program. That was a whole lot of fun. And uh, in case you're wondering, dogs are not allowed on the trails. They're only allowed at the areas where there's parking and cars. So you have to uh, pick your places where you can get the dogs out because they can't go on hikes and walks with you. We're having a little uh, picnic here and make sure if you do the same that you pack everything out that you pack in don't leave any litter behind. <laughs> 